Okay, this is Jen Russell with agweb.com and here with me today is Fred Whitford from Purdue University and we're at Corn College 2013 and Fred just uh, gave a wonderful presentation on how to properly get equipment out of the mud. Um, so Fred, could you give us kind of a few safety tips that oh, farmers could use? You betcha. Well, Jen, <laughs> you know, we don't have to teach these guys how to get things stuck. They do a pretty good job at that on their own. So what we spent the last hour talking about to these growers were how to get things unstuck. And, and we try to use things like this, which was a clevis that uh, bent, um, where a guy had gotten stuck and this had broken off and went up under his tractor. Then the next thing he did, he went to a recovery strap and did something I had not seen. I've seen him cut. He actually uh, broke what would have been the loop on this one. He pulled it apart. And then lastly, got the old chain that's been around the farm for 100 years. And you can see it stretched before he had to call the wrecker. Bottom line here is there are recovery straps that, that these farms can use that are rated to pull out these heavy pieces of equipment. So that's the first thing. Another message that we try to share with the guys is not to jerk on the chains, not to jerk on the cables. And, and specifically the chains, and we saw, as you saw some of the pictures, where the chains were going through the windshields and people were being hurt and in fact, unfortunately, being killed. So not to jerk on them. And then one of the more important points was to put something heavy over the chain or the strap as you begin to pull it. So in the event that something broke, that that weight would push it down and keep it out of the windshields. And, you know, there was other safety tips like, you know, remain calm, don't get mad, which is a, a big to do. Uh, on the cables was to get a horse collar or a thimble to keep your cable really, really uh, not from pinching in like this where it's rounded and we can put all of the weight on that. So lots of safety tips. And if you're, if the listeners here are interested more about it, um, there at Purdue University with the pesticide programs. This is PPP 98, and it's a new publication we have on extracting uh, stuck equipment safely, and in which we had a number of people help with this, and they would be able to get some of these tips out. Mainly as a lot of people are getting hurt, we had probably 20% of the people so far uh, through the college that had experienced these things uh, change and, and things like this coming through the windshields. Uh, luckily, which we don't like, luckily most of them were not hurt. Um, and so what we'd like to do is increase the odds of something bad not happening. So that's what we tried to cover today here at the Corn College.